Okay, hello, my name is Catherine Phelps and this is Wemmin Tuknua. Wemmin Tuknua, you're right. We're <laughs> doing good. Right. We're doing good. It. That's right. And uh, um, I'm the director and writer of Herd of Elephants and this lovely gentleman plays <laughs> the bull elephant Akna. Oh, you can't even see the hand, but that's okay. <laughs> you can use, the, use the other <laughs> I one. Use the other hand. <laughs> there we go. Guns, guns, guns. <laughs> And uh, Wem is a, an actor and has been doing various stuff around Australia. That's right. Uh, you had a show you did in Canberra not so long ago. So yes. what were you doing there? Uh, so I did uh, a show, my first play as a matter of fact, it was called To Kill a Mockingbird where I played uh, the Reverend Skies. That was, uh, that was my first, it was my first play. Loved it. Um. Yeah, it was a great story. So you got to learn from that as well, as well as meeting new people and yeah. enjoying the actual activity. Really so that was good. Yeah, getting a feel for definitely. walking the boards. Definitely. <laughs> Though you have previous experience from treading the boards, only not just treading them, probably facing flat down on it. <laughs> I do. So I do. You did work with. Uh, was it wrestling entertainment? Yes, yes. So I was a, a, an entertainment wrestler in Canberra for about four years. Oh, I was in Canberra. That's right. Oh that's wow! Right. Well, Here. Before, well, we, we fought around. <laughs> we fought around. Uh, well, we did shows around. Uh, Australia. Okay. So I did do a gig down here in Melbourne, uh -huh. Perth, Sydney, but a lot of it used to happen in Canberra. Yeah. So what was the name of your character, or did you yeah. go by your own name? Oh no, I did go by Big Wemsy Black. <laughs> yeah, Big Wemsy. So they, they knew me for that. I had oh my, my own God. song. Oh, you did? Yeah, I had my own song, had my own dance move, had my own finishing move. Um, I'm going to have to see that dance move <laughs> at some point. It was, it, was, it was great. You know, you had to yeah. really personalize it. Yeah. And, and you had to, I guess, be your own brand. Yeah. And so that kind of helped uh, by having all these things attached to it. And then that just kind of got the people yeah. going. They knew exactly what they needed to expect or not. So did you practice uh, improvisational skills like before going on, out there on the, um, in the ring? Yeah, well, yes and no. Um, with acting, sorry, with wrestling. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of the reasons why we go for rehearsals and trainings is to be able to get those uh, basic moves and mm -hmm. how to fall and how to punch and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. But uh, we would always have storylines yeah. around different fights and so you would understand what your storyline was, mm -hmm. figure out what acts and moves you needed to do to those storylines yeah. and once you got in the ring you worked with the other person to make sure that it was a one-off performance. So I think the hardest thing about so you developed your own character. You then. did. You did. So yeah. You didn't have people coaching you on the characterization. That's so something you had to find. That's yourself. right. So the character wow. was your own. I'm impressed because yeah. that means that means all those guys who've succeeded largely had to just kind of find that acting. That's ability. right. That's right. You do have to build your acting skills right on set. I mean, the fascinating thing or the great thing about wrestling mm. or entertainment wrestling is you only have one shot to get it right because <laughs> everybody's watching yeah. and it's a live show, it's a live performance. Wow. And so you spend a lot of the rehearsals and trainings to perfect on, uh, on yeah. uh, convincing people in one go that this is it. That you're the good That's guy right. or the you're bad the good guy. You're the bad guy or you're getting hurt or you're yeah. doing whatever you need to be doing at that point in time. And there was no, uh, there was no place for cut <laughs> Let's do it again or retakes or something yeah, like that. Yeah. So that was really good about it because you just made sure you knew you had to be in that mindset. Yeah. And you had one chance to make it work good. So you did it. I should get you into theater sports. <laughs> you're, you're completely ready for it. I, I hope so. I hope so. I, I'm good to go. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, you're playing an elephant in this show. Yes, I am. So tell us a little bit about your character and how you feel about elephants. So my character is uh, a strong personality, the bull elephant, and it's come out to find love, I guess, which is, uh, you know, it, it displays strength, but also displays, uh, I guess, passion and love and, and care tenderness and too. tenderness. <laughs> They're good at tenderness, the elephants. They do this thing where they wrap their, their trunks together. That's right. That's right. Oh. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's for, for creatures that big, you know, I mean, to still have that, that emotional side of things yeah. connected with them is great. So it's going to be mm. uh, good to balance those two features or characteristics, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Um, and with elephants, it also 
goes out of the head. So, you know what I mean? Uh, you have females, strong females, generally being the leaders of clans mm. or herds, and the young male orphans grow and are being, I guess, not kicked out, but allowed to go and explore for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. And even at that, they still have that sense of community and, and um, togetherness yeah. uh, with other male heads, oh, which is yeah. quite great, I think. Um, they, they support each other. Uh, they uh, are likable, mm -hmm. so generally they tend to follow um, leaders that they like, yeah. which is very yeah. human in a way, yeah. you know, very political. Yeah. Um, they're strength based, mm -hmm. and so they, I mean, and then they respect. So mm -hmm. you would see. Oh, an intelligent. Very intelligent, I mean, very intelligent. They've got the same number of neurons as we do. Fascinating, isn't it? Phew. Yeah, so they're very complex. Yeah complex creatures, but they're also very, um, I think, amazing to actually understand how yeah. it functions. And and the part, or I guess, the position of a bull elephant is very important in, in, in the elephant kingdom, I guess, because mm. they got to be there for strength and support, but also mm. that tenderness and, yeah. uh, and that balance, uh, that balanceness of, of the way they got to be, I guess. Mm. Yeah kind of strength that says, all right, I'm strong so I can take care of you. Exactly. You know, and, and the bulls do it as well. I, I've seen it at the zoo here, mm -hmm. uh, where a little Ongard, which is there, he's, he's old enough that he's, they're now talking about finding some place where he can mate. Okay, well, there you go. Right, but uh, he was also, which meant he was old enough, they had to take him out of the female herd, mm. because you don't want him mating with cousins and sisters That's and what right. have you. That's right. But they put him with his dad. And he was so excited, <laughs> right? That he played and played and played and knocked off both his tusks. <laughs> you know? And, and I've seen the two play together, yeah. you know, the, the dad and Ongard. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's it's really tender. And he's and the dad's really gentle now with him because Ongard just goes, Come on, let's play, let's play. <laughs> you knocked off your tusks That's last right. time. That's right. Not doing that again. <laughs> It's very similar to how parents interact with the kids, well, humans interact yeah. with their children. Yeah. Um, you play with them, but you're still very tender, and you're still cautious about them yeah. hurting themselves, or, mm. or I guess, yeah, being what they gotta be. Yeah, it's yeah. true, it's true. So, well, thank you. Well, thank you very much for having me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see.